When Elon Musk said the Tesla bot would be bigger than cell phones, most people laughed. But that laughter stopped the moment Tesla quietly confirmed the Gen 3. A $20,000 humanoid robot with hands so precise they can perform surgery, cook dinner, or build cars 24-7 without fatigue. Is this the dawn of a robot-driven economy? Or the start of humanity's replacement? Either way, history just shifted. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk stepped onto the stage with the new Tesla bot Gen 3, the energy in the room shifted instantly. This wasn't another flashy prototype. It was the moment when fiction and reality quietly switched places. The robot didn't just move, it reacted. Every gesture felt deliberate, almost alive. When Musk said, this version can outperform a human hand, the silence that followed wasn't disbelief, it was awe. For decades, building a robot that could walk like us was impressive, but giving it hands that could work like us, that was impossible. The human hand has more complexity than any machine part ever designed. Yet Tesla has done it. The Gen 3 hand doesn't mimic, it masters. Built with 22 degrees of freedom, Equipped with sensors capable of feeling textures down to a millimeter, it moves with a grace that's disturbingly human. Inside Tesla's Palo Alto Research Lab, this hand became an obsession. Engineers spent years perfecting every tendon, every actuator, until motion itself seemed to blur the line between biological and mechanical. The reason for this obsession is simple but profound. Elon Musk isn't trying to make a walking robot. He's trying to build a working being. The ability to manipulate objects with precision. Folding clothes, assembling parts, holding a fragile object is what truly defines human labor. And Musk knows that the first robot to master this will own the future of the global economy. A robot that can walk is impressive, but a robot that can build, heal, or care. That's power. Tesla's focus on dexterity rather than mobility reveals its long game. According to internal analyses, the company believes the first trillion dollar market for humanoids won't come from entertainment or research. It'll come from labor substitution. Imagine a factory line that never shuts down, a hospital that never sleeps, a workforce immune to fatigue. At a $20,000 price point, Tesla isn't building luxury machines. It's building the new working class. The implications are staggering. One unit could replace several human workers, operating continuously, learning constantly, and paying for itself within months. Musk wasn't exaggerating when he said the Tesla bot could be bigger than cell phones. Phones changed how we talk. This changes who does the talking and the working. It's not automation anymore, it's replication. Behind the scenes, Tesla's secret weapon isn't hardware, it's intelligence. Each robot is powered by Tesla's proprietary sim-to-real learning loop, the same concept that revolutionized its self-driving cars. The bots train in simulation environments for thousands of virtual hours failing millions of times, adjusting and perfecting every motion before ever touching the real world. When one bot learns, they all do. That means every task mastered by one Optimus becomes instantly available to the entire fleet. This creates something unprecedented, a collective robotic intelligence evolving faster than any human skill base in history. One day, it learns how to prepare breakfast. The next, it can assemble microchips or assist in surgery. The line between machine and colleague becomes disturbingly thin. And while this sounds futuristic, the truth is that some of these systems are already in use. Quietly, early prototypes of Gen 3 are assisting Tesla engineers on factory floors, testing parts, managing logistics, 
and collecting real-world data every hour of the day. Technically, the breakthrough lies in the integration of lightweight titanium joints, low-heat ceramic sensors, and adaptive actuators that function with sub-millimeter precision. Combined with AI-driven feedback loops, the Gen 3 achieves a level of control once thought impossible. Tesla claims it can operate continuously for more than 10,000 hours, over a decade of non-stop productivity. The improved efficiency reduces energy consumption by nearly 40%, making it not only powerful, but sustainable. This is not science fiction, it's industrial evolution. But this level of ambition comes with a price. To produce even 1 million units per year, Tesla will need an entirely new infrastructure, including what Musk himself called a giant chip factory. The reason is clear. Every bot requires specialized neural processors, and no existing supplier can meet that scale. Musk's decision to build Tesla's own chip ecosystem isn't just about efficiency, it's about independence. He's turning Tesla from an automaker into a full-fledged AI manufacturer, controlling every step from hardware to intelligence. Yet, for all the excitement, one question keeps surfacing. What happens to humans when robots can do everything better? Musk argues that AI and robotics will expand the global economy tenfold, freeing people from repetitive labor and allowing creativity to flourish. But skeptics see a darker reality, one where humans are gradually priced out of relevance. It's a paradox Musk seems perfectly comfortable with, because in his mind, progress always demands replacement. Ironically, what makes the Tesla bot revolutionary isn't its strength or speed, it's its gentleness. During internal demonstrations, it handled eggs, folded laundry, and even poured water without spilling a drop. None of these actions were programmed line by line. The bot learned them by observing, failing, and adapting. It doesn't memorize, it understands. And that understanding, powered by AI learning loops, becomes its greatest advantage. Every Optimus is both a worker and a student, evolving through shared experience. Each motion it performs is logged, refined, and redistributed to every other unit worldwide. The more Tesla bots exist, the faster they improve. Humanity has never built a technology that evolves this quickly. And that's what makes it so powerful and so dangerous. Still, the system isn't flawless. In extreme cold, particularly below minus 20 degrees Celsius, performance drops noticeably. Haptic sensitivity weakens, and manipulation speed can decline by as much as 20%. Tesla engineers admit this remains one of the biggest challenges, especially for operations in northern climates or eventually Mars. But if there's one thing Tesla's track record shows, it's that every limitation today becomes a feature tomorrow. And yes, Mars is part of the plan. The roadmap reveals ambitions far beyond Earth. Musk envisions fleets of Optimus bots constructing habitats, mining resources, and maintaining life support systems long before the first astronauts arrive the same design that makes Gen 3 perfect for Earth's industries could make it the backbone of interplanetary colonization. When Musk says a billion bots, he isn't exaggerating. He's thinking in planetary terms. Despite that grand vision, the transition begins small and quiet. Early reservation requests are already surging, not just from tech enthusiasts, but from corporations and hospitals that see the potential for 24-7 assistance at a fraction of current costs. For businesses, it's an equation that's impossible to ignore. For individuals, it's the first step into a world where a machine might cook your dinner, fix your car, or even take care of your parents. That's why this isn't just another product reveal. It's a turning point in human history. The Gen 3 hand doesn't just symbolize technological progress. 
It represents a new social contract. One where machines finally master the one thing that once defined us, the touch. The question now isn't whether these robots can change everything. It's whether we're ready for what happens after they do. And that's the real meaning behind the Tesla Bot Gen 3. It's not just another machine. It's a turning point in how humanity builds, works, and dreams. This $20,000 robot hand isn't replacing us. It's extending what we can achieve. Because when a robot can learn, build, and adapt like a human, the boundaries of industry, medicine, and even space itself begin to disappear. This is exactly why Elon Musk calls it bigger than cell phones. It's the start of an era where human progress never sleeps. The future won't wait, and neither should you. What do you think? Will Generation 3 change everyday life? Or change what it means to be human? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your perspective. If you found value in this analysis, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Tech Revolution, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next major breakthrough shaping our world. This is Tech Revolution, bringing you deeper insights into the innovations redefining our future. Stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next video. When Elon Musk said the Tesla bot would be bigger than cell phones, most people laughed. But that laughter stopped the moment Tesla quietly confirmed the Gen 3. A $20,000 humanoid robot with hands so precise they can perform surgery, cook dinner, or build cars 24-7 without fatigue. Is this the dawn of a robot-driven economy? Or the start of humanity's replacement? Either way, history just shifted. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk stepped onto the stage with the new Tesla bot Gen 3, the energy in the room shifted instantly. This wasn't another flashy prototype. It was the moment when fiction and reality quietly switched places. The robot didn't just move, it reacted. Every gesture felt deliberate, almost alive. When Musk said, this version can outperform a human hand, the silence that followed wasn't disbelief. It was awe. For decades, building a robot that could walk like us was impressive, but giving it hands that could